Hello everyone, this is Rupesh and you are watching CVBNet's video series on binary search or binary tree interview questions and this video is about converting a given binary tree into a doubly linked list. Okay, so this is your binary tree here and we want to convert this binary tree into a doubly linked list. So basically it should look like this. We have 4 and then 10 and we know what doubly linked list is, right? Like this pointer will point to this one and this guy will point to this previous one, right? So like this, we have all these connections, okay? And this is going to be in place, meaning you will change these pointers only. So basically this is your root. You are required to pass this root into some function and that function should return the head of the linked list, meaning this guy, okay? So if you see this, this is uh, some kind of a pattern. You are traversing this whole tree in a in order form. I mean, in order traversal. So this is how your in order traversal look like. We have this, we'll go to left and then the same helper function will go to right. And then your code goes here where you will actually print, right? So if this is how your recursion pattern is, then it is in order traversal. If this printing is above these two left and right, then it is pre order traversal. If it is after this, then it is post order traversal. So we know this, right? And this is a great property that if you traverse in order, then you get it in this form. And actually the question also says the same thing. I have got this question from a geeks for geeks. And if we see that, see given binary tree. So this is the problem which asks you to convert binary tree into double link list. Okay. And here it says that in place, you have to convert these pointers only to make them look like this link list. And another important point to notice is the order of the nodes in the DLL must be same as the in order of a given binary tree. Okay, so how you will traverse this in order way, the same way the linked list should look like. So in order, right? So just uh, let's start. And yeah, for linked list, you need a head pointer, right? So that you can point to that linked list head. So let's create, we have this node pointer head is equal to null. And we will need this previous thing so that you can actually point to the previous node and we will call this helper function there we will pass root head and I mean address of the head and address of the previous and from here we will return head and let's create that uh, helper function this is going to return void we have this helper which is taking node pointer root node double pointer head and node double pointer previous and as we always check that if root is not there then I'll just simply return from here otherwise what we're supposed to do we will do this in order traversal right so we have this roots left and then helper root right and just put this head and previous here also we have this head and previous and now we have to play the whole game now here okay in between these two recursion calls so just try to understand that in order see due to this left call you will start from here and then you'll go here and then here and then th then there won't be anything so you'll be treating this one as your first node. So we need a little bit of spatial handling for the first case because your head is also a null in the beginning. See, we have null here and your previous is also pointing to the null. So when you will hit this uh, 25 for the first time, that time only you need some spatial handling. Other than that, your head and previous will be actually pointing to some data so that you don't need any spatial handling after that. So what is that spatial handling? Yes, obviously you will check if I'm coming to this place, then if this head is equal to equal to null, basically head pointer of the head so that you're pointing to this head. If this is true, then you will just initialize head. I mean, pointer head is equal to root. That's it. And your previous is also going to be root because you have just encountered a node 
which is going to be your head node because your first num going to be your head right see you see this head here right h e a d head so you have initialized that head and obviously for this 12 this head this 25 is going to act like a previous node right this 12 if you see here this 25 is going to be acting like a previous node also so you have to initialize this previous also with the root okay if this is not the case in else case what you are going to do you just simply exchange the pointers meaning you will say previous right it is going to be your root so you're initializing previous right so your 25 is currently previous right its right should be 12 okay so you are saying that its right should be 12 this root is going to be 12 now because you will return from here and then you will again reach to this location and this will happen because it is going to happen in in order form for each and every node and yeah wait a minute this is going to be in this bracket so this is half meaning you have said previous which is 25 right is 12 but you didn't said this 12th left is 25 so you have to say that also so you will say roots left is equal to pointer previous that's it so now you have said 25 next is 12 and 12 previous is 25 this line says that and just before going to the right hand side meaning just before executing this one you have to do one more thing you have to update the previous i mean pointer of the previous is equal to root why because now this is this root which is this 12 now should act like a previous for this 30 right so 30 will come when you will go to the right hand side right see so this 12 should act like a previous how this 25 was acting like a previous in the beginning now 12 will be acting like a previous and once this 30 will be processed here in between these two recursion calls then this 30 will be treated as previous then 30's right is going to be this 10 and this 10's left is going to be this 30 so this is how this code will work let's see if this is working fine uh, okay yeah I see this uh, this is redundant I don't know uh, I didn't notice this yeah why it is redundant I'll tell you see this previous is equal to root this piece of code I have to write here also right so no problem anyway I'm writing it so I'll remove it from here otherwise it will execute two time and rest looks okay let's compile this yeah fine and we can submit this also okay we can see that it is passing meaning it is working I have already tested this so this is your code this much code only right see you have this these three lines so the prerequisites for this video is you should know what is in order traversal basically you should know what is or how to traverse binary trees like there are different ways in order pre-order post order and there are different ways to solve actually this problem also I have chosen this because I am I like recursion and I can think fast in recursion rather than going for a while loop uh, which kind of confuses me a lot I know that is uh, more memory efficient because it will keep keep on creating the stacks which is not good if your data is so big but still uh, if you give this to interviewer they will be accepting this so i hope you like the video don't forget to hit the like button guys and thanks for watching bye bye i'll see you in the next videos take care